India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Savajay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Ima Imoinu is worshipped as the goddess of wealth and prosperity by the Mitei community of Manipur. The festival is celebrated every year in Wokcheng, the first month in the Manipuri Almanac which coincides with the Gregorian month of January. Wokcheng is believed to be an auspicious month to worship the goddess of wealth to bring peace and prosperity. Let's have a look at the recent celebration of a Moinu festival in Manipur. The way Plutus is the goddess of wealth and abundance for Greeks, Lakshmi for Hindus, the Maiti people in Manipur worship Ima Imoinu, who is the goddess of wealth and prosperity. While E means human being, Nu stands for goddess. Imoinu is portrayed as an old woman who is known for her sense of humor and tidiness. Every year, Funga Loiru Imoinu is celebrated to mark the return of local Medi deity to her daughter-in-law Piainu's home. Main purpose of the organizing of this event, a festival, is to spread the values given by the goddess uh, Imoinu, which is also treated as the goddess of wealth and goddess of uh, all sorts of energy. This year, the festival was celebrated with great zeal and fanfare at different places in Manipur. The local markets were seen flooded with people, particularly buying fish and other worship items. A well-prepared meal with the main dish of white fish curry is offered to the deity, who takes rest as Funga Leru, a traditional fireplace in the kitchen. According to an old folk story, only royal families were allowed to worship the goddess in the 5th century, and it was only in the 15th century when commoners were permitted to worship the goddess and offer meals to her. As part of the festival, religious leaders performed Pena, which is the act of performing traditional songs as a ritual. Seasonal fruits, traditional sweets and vegetables were offered as religious offerings to the goddess along with the lighting of candles. Imoinu's dwelling place is the kitchen, for the goddess reckons it as the cleanest place in the house. For the same reason, the goddess is offered the first serving of every meal, which is prepared in every Mete household. Family members are asked to maintain cleanliness and be respectful in order to please the goddess. Lamdam sida thay na ipay po hagtag tagi imo ino imagi kaino wasingi trying to inipan basida imo ino imabo ko ni ira thau ni jari basa lamdam sida sa hong hong ba kon sinung sang ba tek takay da ba ko ina bagi da magta yai pa na bagi da magta ako ina imo ino imabo ira thau ni jay. Festivals like these are important for preserving the age-old values and beliefs of various states and communities. People believe that such festivals help in uplifting the morale of the community and keep the ancient rituals alive. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. 
dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country are the rich reservoirs of this tradition. During the Urs commemorations at the dargahs, a large number of people from various religions unite to pray for peace and harmony. The dargah of Hafiz Ali Hussain in northern city of Moradabad is one such place where devotees from all religions come and offer prayers to the Sufi saint who led the path of virtue and wisdom. Have a look. Cutting across the religious lines, hundreds of pilgrims throng the dargah of Hafiz Ali Hussain, situated in the city of Moradabad in Uttar Pradesh. The Darga witnesses a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity on every Tuesday to commemorate the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During Urs, devotees, including women and children, offer prayers and holy chadars at the shrine while chanting verses from the Quran. <laughs> आप ख्वाजा गरीब नवाज रहमत अल्लाह में चले जाएं कहीं भी चले जाएं आपको हर जगह आपको हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सभी आते हैं बड़े अकीदत से आते हैं और चूंकि इसीलिए आते हैं कि उनको मोहब्बत मिलती है अगर मोहब्बत नहीं मिलती तो क्यों आते लोग द दरगाह होल्ड्स ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट वेलकम्स पीपल ऑफ ऑल फेथ्स टू सीक वननेस विद गॉड एंड प्लेस अ डिस्टिंक्टिव रोल इन नैरोइंग द रिलीजियस बाउंड्रीज एंड बूस्टिंग सेकुलरिज्म इन द नेशन Kavalis are organized at the Darga which is another way of offering prayers to the almighty and the Sufi saint Kavali sung by the local artist at the Darga is quite popular among a number of devotees some devotees visit the shrine every day to pay their obeisance to the saint दस पंद्रह साल से हम लोग भी आते हैं और सभी के लिए दुआ करते हैं हम लोग हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सबके लिए करते हैं दुआ तो कैसा लगता है हर बार यहाँ प्रार्थना होती है हर मंगलवार को हर मंगलवार को होती है बहुत अच्छा लगता है बहुत अच्छा लगता है हम लोगों को और सभी के लिए दुआएं करते हैं सभी लोग आते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख सभी आते हैं और भाईचारे के लिए सभी के लिए दुआ करते हैं हाफिज अली हुसैन वॉज बोर्न इन एटीन and has played a significant role in the freedom struggle of the country he was a preacher of love and brotherhood and his dargah has been acting as a center of communal harmony for ages now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently The Guinness World Record for the largest music band to perform live ever was achieved by Amazon Prime Video for the web series The Forgotten Army. As many as 1046 musicians took to the stage in Western Mumbai city and performed the songs of the series live and became the first ever largest Indian cinematic music band in the world to do so. Swapnil Dangarikar, adjudicator at Guinness World Records, said India now officially held the title of the biggest music band in the world after the unique attempt. This happened for the first time in the world. It's a unique record attempt because, as I said, nobody had attempted this before. We've done the counting of the participants. I was here to see the entire performance. and i think this is one of the most enjoyable record attempts i've been to and with 1046 participants you have set a new guinness world records title congratulations directed by noted bollywood director and documentary maker kabir khan the series tells the story of the indian freedom fighter subhash chandra bose led indian national army's campaigns in burma against the british armies
Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi signed 15 agreements in fields of trade, energy and cyber security among others as the two leaders met in New Delhi to boost bilateral ties. Bolsonaro, who was on a four-day visit to India, had been invited as a chief guest for India's 71st Republic Day celebrations held in the capital city. Assinamos 15 acordos pelo nosso lado, no Brasil, numa viagem internacional. Não tínhamos notícia de tantos acordos e bons acordos serem assinados. Potencializamos dessa forma o nosso relacionamento e tenho certeza, além desses itens aqui tratados, outros ao longo do tempo. Bolsonaro paid tribute to India's iconic freedom movement leader Mahatma Gandhi at his memorial Raj Ghat after being accorded a ceremonial reception at the presidential palace. According to the Indian Foreign Ministry, the mutual trade between the countries stands at about $8.2 billion with India exporting oil to Brazil, among other things. India and Brazil also share cooperation on many international platforms, most notably BRICS. By developing new lifestyles and values, Japanese companies have always worked for enriching the lives of its people. At one side, Japanese company Nisei has come up with its new flavor of soft ice cream to sachet the taste buds of tourists. And on the other side, Kyoto Saika University has introduced characteristic policy for students. We have a detailed report. This cute dance character is Kitty, which is popular around the world. The performance is held in Sanrio, Beulah Land at Tokyo. Many kids and adults are seen taking photos and enjoying. Data shows increasing number of adult guests taking photos of SNS as a business chance. ピューロランドとしても、ファミリーだけではなくて、大人の女性の方にもぜひ楽しんでいただきたいということで、写真映えするかわいいスポットをたくさん作ったりですとか、写真映えするかわいいフードメニューや。The name of the white dog character is Cinnamarol. There are a lot of cute sweets in cafe that termed Cinnamarol. Unique parfait has secret to make them taste good even for adults. Soft ice cream used creamia, which is a sweet and rich taste of cream produced by Nisei. え、見た目が良くて可愛らしいです。はい。見た目がもう<笑> で、こちらのメニューは Sweets of cute character of Sanrio and the rich soft ice cream produced by Nisei make children and adults happy. In a theme park once filled with just children, business ideas are being developed to attract adult customers. 
Kyoto Saika University is located in the northern part of Kyoto city, which is very popular among foreign tourists in Japan. Students study various arts such as design, painting, and sculpture. Many graduates contribute to society as creators. Osobi Sako is a president of Kyoto Saika University. He is the first president from Africa in Japanese university. He keeps on the school themes of the principles of respect for humanity and the spirit of freedom and autonomy to young generations. This university uh, policy is based on three points. So one is a global education, one is liberal art education, and another one is the expression. So you have to have your own voice. So even like you're, if you're connected with the society, you have to have your own voice. So my education policy uh, is to have a global, open and diverse uh, university. So here we have almost 20% of our students as foreigners, and that's a big number in Japan actually. But at the same time, I try to treat uh, each one with the differences. So I don't try to make um, a kind of like, I mean, a place where people are looks like each other in a lot of places, but why don't we uh, collaborate, communicate, and live together with our differences? So let's, I mean, respect our differences and make that our force. So that's my education policy, actually. So from the first year, uh, we try to help support students to have a kind of communication skill. So the first one is, who am I? You never asked that question before. So you try to know yourself. And then by knowing yourself, you communicate with others. You try to explain to others who you are. And then you learn also who they are. And through others, you can see yourself. You can understand yourself. You can understand that the differences is very important. And also that may be also your force. So that's like uh, the, the, the first point. The second point is to have like a, uh, a course about philosophy. So it's not the history of philosophy. It's the philosophy itself. How to think. So as I said, before they, they graduate, I want them to have their own voice. How they want to change this society. How they want to change this global world. So that's very important for me because the young people are, I mean, you know, tomorrow is for them. And what is very important, how everyone can make uh, its own place in a future society, which is globalized and diverse, and also accept the differences. University education policy fosters many talented young people and contributes to a global society. A hallmark of India is its diversity. People from different religious and cultural backgrounds live here amicably. Upholding this tradition of unity in diversity, a government school in the city of Surat is imparting the teachings of the holy books and scriptures to children, irrespective of their caste and religion, in order to make them better individuals. Have a look. Situated in the city of Surat, the government school of Mangrol village stands out among others. Its teachings are breaking the boundaries of schools who teach usual science and math. <laughs> Students of various castes, creed and religions are being taught ancient scriptures and texts like Gita in order to inculcate traditional values and bring them closer to their culture. Irrespective of any discrimination, languages like Urdu and Mor are taught to all these students to unite them by a common code of knowledge and brotherhood. This is a government school. Here, every dharma, every jati of children are studying here. We have studied in school and we have studied that the children are studying here. But the holy day is very important. It is a holy day. तो हर बच्चा अपने घर से खजूर चना लेकर आता है और मुस्लिम बच्चे को अपने हाथ से खिलाता है ऐसा नहीं कि चलो मेरे घर से लेकर आए नहीं हाथ से खाओ ईद के दिन मुस्लिम बच्चा अपने पांच दोस्तों को अपने घर लेके जाते हैं और उसका अपने हाथ से मिठाई और खिलाते हैं वॉट मेक्स दीज चिल्ड्रन यूनिक अपार्ट फ्रॉम देयर हाई इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन इज दैट 
each one of them is well versed with shlokas of gita whether he is a follower of hinduism islam christianity or any other religion the students are taught to respect their elders and follow good habits like taking a balanced diet and serving water to parents before drinking it thoughts like these from gita and other holy scriptures are followed by all the children of various religions these children together prove that the beauty and strength of our country lies in its differences rather than its similarities hum hindu aur muslim hum sab saath padhte hain aur har ek tehwar saath manate hain quran aur bhagavad gita hum log saath mein padhte hain हम सबको साथ रहना चाहिए मजहब नहीं सिखाता आपस में बैर रखना सच एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पीसफुल को एग्जिस्टेंस एंड यूनिटी अमंग द वेरियस कम्युनिटीज ऑफ आर नेशन स्ट्रेंथन दूलर बॉन्ड ऑफ आर कंट्री along with propagating a great message of communal harmony the river ganga is among one of the most pious rivers of india from ancient times the river has been of cultural religious and geographical importance to the people to maintain the faith of the people and preserve the holy river the government of india has been tirelessly working to cleanse the river through an integrated effort as a part of it special attention is being laid to all aspects of the river under this approach nmcg in collaboration with the uttar pradesh government has set up sewage treatment plants to treat the generated waste on a daily basis and prevent the river from being polluted take a look priyagraj bustles with tourists round the year It is popular among pilgrims for Triveni Sangam, the confluence of the rivers Ganga, Yamuna, and the mythic Saraswati. With the confluence and the river banks are remarkable sights during fairs, the ordinary days too. Witness hundreds of devotees traveling midstream to pay their obeisance. This overwhelming influx of devotees is a huge responsibility. and the challenge for the people looking after the health of the river especially dealing with sewage and solid waste the national mission for clean ganga in collaboration with the state government has been endeavoring to treat sewage generated every day to prevent the river from getting polluted as of today around 80% of priyagraj sewage is being treated Prayagraj is one city where we have done comprehensive sewage treatment plants as well as network. So now entire city is sewered, and because of Kumbh, a good momentum was generated last year in 2018 to complete these projects. So Prayagraj, you have got a total of eight projects which have been completed, and two new projects have been taken up. They are basically one city on operator thing. so 80 mld of the old stp will be rehabilitated and maintained by this one city one operator thing and then prayagraj main prayagraj is completely sewered but you require some extra capacity in nehni so that we are building up now these projects include intersection and diversion of sewage network sewage pumping stations and stps of total capacity 72 million liters per day projects are on hybrid annuity based ppp mode that includes operation and maintenance of the entire sewerage infrastructure for 15 years we had four uh, running schemes under which around uh, 600 km sewer line was proposed to be laid in the city and another 32 km was proposed to be laid at fafamo under amrit program so we have almost completed all the uh, namami gange projects or they are nearing completion now one more activity uh, has been sanctioned uh, by uh, nmcg 
that is the last milestone activity of any sewerage system that is connection of houses. Earlier uh, house connection was not a part of the project. The construction, operation and enhancement of STP capacity have become essential for the city which is attracting more people day by day and is urbanizing rapidly. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindia at nin.com. I'm your host Shreya Sabajay and it's goodbye from the entire production team. You're watching Tag.